Hi ladies and gents, it's Fiona from Australia. It has been such a long time since I've been on here. It's been so many years, several years. I just wanted to catch up. This was a more of a catch up video rather than a video on how to make so coasters because they're pretty simple. But I just wanted to say hi to everybody and tell everybody um, in the crafty world that I have missed you. Um, it's as I said it's been quite a while I just really needed to take that time I was experiencing a few years ago the pain levels with my rheumatoid arthritis was as it had affected every single joint from my neck my shoulders my hips my knees my ankles my feet my hands you know my fingers my toes my wrists um, it was pretty bad. So I really needed to just take some time away and get my attitude right. I needed some time with the Lord and just some time away to just pull away from everything and just focus on who I am now that my life has changed and also who am I with God? Um, what does he what is his plan and purpose for my life? now that things have changed and yeah I just really needed that time to reflect and to learn more and to just spend that time with him and I found a wonderful church um, and that is um, a local Anglican church at Oran Park which is not more than a 15 minute or so drive um, it's a beautiful place and um, because of COVID and our lockdown restrictions I physically haven't been inside yet but I've been watching online all year and really just really enjoying the good teaching um, and the way that um, the senior pastor just uh, minister just opens up the word of God I just really appreciate the teaching so yeah I've been doing that um, I have the sewing machine in the last two years has become my best friend. Um, paper crafts and embroidery and things like that are kind of like a really. I can show you some things in a following video that I've been doing, but it takes such a long time to get anything hand sewing or anything like that done. Um, so, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time. I make a lot of gifts for family members um, and friends and so on. Um, my disability support worker, she um, puts up with me and puts up with my little gifts or little ideas that I come up with <laughs> that I share with her. Um, you don't tend to keep things for yourself. I get more joy of making something for somebody. So at the moment, I've just been making these really simple coasters. Um, these stripy ones are for the gentlemen. As you can see, they're just very simple crisscross sewn top stitched all the way around and crisscrossed um these beautiful i love this material this material is just stunning um i love this this is so pretty um for the ladies and i'm doing some more for the ladies there's actually doing it for an anglican nursing home locally and they've been in lockdown for such a long time so i've still got ends um to pull in on these ones um and some of them i'm able to cut off but yeah, so, and this is the next fabric that I'm going to do for the gentleman. It's kind of like a greeny, minty colour and navy. So I really like that one. So I was meant to do 50, but I think I'm going to end up doing more. So it's pretty simple. Um, I just get two... I've done really fancy ones where I've added ribbon and ribbon embroidery and all sorts of different things on top. But these are just plain, as I said, just the plain crisscross ones. Um, so you just get two squares. I usually do it five and a half by five and a half. Um, some of them, when I've got a strip of fabric, it's turned out that one way it might be five and a half and the next way it might be five and a quarter so that I could get four in a row um, rather than to waste a bit of fabric. Um, and that doesn't matter if they're not completely square. Um, they don't have to be. Who said that a coaster had to be square or round or you could do flower shapes. You can do whatever you like. So there are two pieces of fabric with the right sides together. So let me just open this up. Where is the opening? There we go. So here we go. We've got the two right sides together. 
then we have a piece of batting so I just get a piece of batting like this and I just put it on top um, and then I usually don't sew on the top of the batting I usually pin it in the middle I just do it one pin like this just really simple just to hold the batting so the batting doesn't move right sides are squared up um, and then I'll start sewing and I back stitch. So I sew a couple of stitches and then back stitch and then sew all the way around, turn it, sew all the way around, all the way around here and then all the way around here. And then when I get to the where I've started, I just go part way and stop. So I leave an opening so that I can turn it with my hands and I'm not going to do that now because it's in front of you because it's fiddly with my hands but basically I just get my fingers in there it's pretty simple but with my hands it's, it takes a little bit longer I just get one finger in into here and then I push it through and then there's one and then I usually just go like this later on on the corners to pull them out a little bit more or you can use a pokey tool I've got um, you know a bone folder they're perfect to get the corners out um, and then I just pull it all the way through so when it's pulled all the way through I'll move and show you this next one um, I then have the pin out I then have an opening I'll give it an iron I'll press it and like I said um, if I want the corners out a little bit more I sometimes just wriggle it a little bit rig a little, little bit more just to have it a little bit more square and then there's an opening here so I make sure that it's folded in it's really hard to do this with a sewing machine in the road um, and then I'll drop drop my pin okay <laughs> I'll then get my pin and I will line it up a bit and then I just put my pin in so that just holds my opening and then I start stitching usually where the pin is on the side where the pin is and I have a special foot on my sewing machine which is by a company in the United States called creativefeet.com and they have a little I don't know if you can see the metal bar but the metal bar it is this round part here is very adjustable so you can adjust it to wherever your needle is how close you want it and you line your fabric up on this this here um, so if my needles really close and I want to do a top stitch I'll move the bar as close as I want and then basically it clips on really easy it clips onto most sewing machines she created this foot for a lady who was blind it's amazing the satin edge foot so I top stitch all the way around turn all the way around all the way around and then when I get back to where I've started I then it's a little bit tricky sometimes uh, because the feed dogs don't want to pick up on the sewing machine they don't want to pick up the front part these little grippy bits but sometimes I've got to give it a little bit of a help but then I diagonally sew across and then I'll come back down one side and then I'll diagonally go across the other way. And that just gives you simply just a simple coaster. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, my mum gave me for my birthday in August, I turned 50. And my mum gave me this beautiful extension table. Um, so it locks into my sewing machine um and it's very adjustable and it's amazing it gives sorry for that that's a message coming through um and it just gives a really really longer part so that i can actually do a bit of embroidery or something like that for my um embroidery yeah um i've got embroidery hoops that i got from the same lady that created that foot at creativefeet.com if you're interested in um getting some help with sewing she has a youtube channel as well um and it's called claire c-l-a-r-e rowley w-o w-l-e-y and claire is on every well my friday morning so your thursday at 
2 o'clock Mountain Standard Time and she usually does um, a tutorial. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in sewing and you're um, wanting some sewing tips, she, she's a phenomenal teacher. Um, and she's an inventor of so many really helpful sewing feet and sewing aids. Um, she has a foot that you can ad adapt and put ribbon on um, and sequins that runs on a string. And she also has... Um, the ribbons and sequins foot and the pearls and piping foot as well as this satin edged which I call they do call it the magic foot because it's it does so much um, it I can't sew straight and this foot with this foot I can so yeah it's really 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 helpful so I hope this all finds you well I hope that everyone's doing well I hopefully we can catch up soon um, I, I can type but very small and minimal um, I'd love to catch up I catch up with Sierra every now and then I've caught up with Heavenly Imaginings I've caught up with um, Bonnie um, yeah there's a few people that I'd love to catch up with that I have missed um, I miss our live feeds we used to have so much fun um, I miss Rose a shout out to her I, I miss so many um, beautiful ladies that we used to hang out together. Um, yeah, so Abril and yeah, so many. So yeah, I just hope everyone's doing well and we can catch up soon. Hopefully, um, I've got a few little other projects that I've done which I'm in the process it's a work in progress it's one of those projects that takes so long I've um, been making inspired by little books some mushrooms and flowers and I have a canvas that I want to do up in my room um, yeah and it's going to be very 3d and um, my room has turned into a beautiful my bedroom has turned into a beautiful fairyland so eventually i will get that all done it's just all takes time in amongst doing other projects so you all take care i send my love and my hugs and we will hopefully catch up soon bye for now